stupid right now. Right now we have a chronograph set up downrange. We've got a couple of seal plates. So the chronograph that's appearing on this screen over here is where its data is showing. So we have run, one round loaded in the chamber. We're gonna just fire off this round downrange. We're gonna compare with one more. We're gonna just, this is 17 HMR. We're gonna get it set up properly with a proper 17 HMR. There we go. One round fired successfully. 2372 feet per second according to the optical chronograph. Things about 10 feet out. Ah, five feet out. Yep, there goes the wind. Let's go for one more round. Now, well, I can't actually hit the target. <laughs> now, this is where we're getting really stupid. I've had this curiosity for a while, and the question is, will it work? This is 22 a long rifle quiet here. Now put it in and see whether or not we can get it to fire. And so I'm going to aim it at target. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm going to stick my head back here out of the way. Four hundred and sixty feet per second. That tells me it actually cleared the barrel. Let's check. We have the brass, very much swollen, and the barrel is clear. It was able to successfully fire and swage the bullet down the barrel, though it took a majority of its energy to do that. <laughs> hmm. Let's get a little stupider here. We're just gonna go for some standard velocity CCIs now. So instead of 700 feet per second, this is 1,000 feet per second. Let's see how that goes. Gun is currently cocked. We're gonna just aim it so I don't hit the chronograph. And I'd rather not buy yet another chronograph. 807 feet per second. So, it's slightly slower than it should be, but it's actually going down range, which is not exactly what I expected. So, kind of interesting. You can shoot a 22 long rifle with a 17 HMR barrel. Sure, you can shoot it through a 22 WMR, and well, why not? We got one here. Here we go. Chiapa Little Rhino in 22 Winchester Magnum rifle. Yep, confirmed on the side. So we're just going to grab one more round. Ah, do not throw the ammo everywhere. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, 22 long rifle through 22 Winchester Magnum rifle barrel. So, the chamber is going to be roughly the same size. The difference is the bore of the barrel on this one is going to be the proper size. It's just going to have chamber energy loss. So same round, and let's see what it does. Going down range. 784 feet per second. So you actually do get a velocity increase from the squeeze bore. Interesting. All right, we've already seen there's an increase in velocity when running through a squeeze bore. So we have this, we have it cleared out. We're starting off with the 22 WMR here, and we're gonna shoot it through a 22 Magnum barrel. Then you go, but, but this isn't a 22 Magnum, yes. We're doing this because the chambers are virtually identical. So we can get an idea of how much pressure loss we are losing because it's an unsupported brass chamber, so some of the energy goes into swelling. Eleven ninety-two feet per second. Now, mind you, this is definitely lower velocity than what we will actually see out of a twenty-two long rifle barrel. 
that's not the idea that we're trying to go for here. What we're trying to find out is does forcing the squeeze bore cause greater velocities by increasing the pressure behind the cartridge? There we go, 1155. So we have the same ballpark for two of them. So we're going to use that as a sample size. Now we're going over to the 17 HMR. I'm gonna aim it, but I'm not keeping my head behind it when this thing goes off. <laughs> because this is a lot more powder charge than the others. It's still going to be interesting to see what happens though. So, in, in. Sixteen oh five feet per second. 500 feet per second increase here. Now that's getting it back up to the same velocity area as it should be. And needless to say, don't try this at home. This is ridiculously stupid, but cool. But seriously, don't try it at home. Do I need to say it again? Don't try it at home, but it's still cool. 1585. That's repeatable. 500 feet per second increase with a squeeze board. This, this merits a lot more testing. 